I mean, the gratification that I got by being a union rep is that you, you got up every morning and you had that fire in your belly of helping someone. I mean, helping and, 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 and moving an agenda forward in regards to vision and making poor pe people are treated fairly and have access to a decent collective agreement and work in a health and safety environment. And I always tell people, you can have the best collective agreement in the world, it's worthless if you don't have the ability to come home to your loved ones uh, because of some industrial accident. So, so that's always something that's been very rewarding. In my union experience, I've also had the opportunity to be involved with a lot of global stuff. I mean, I've been to, I went to South Africa. I've been to South Africa just to, at the time of apartheid and just to witness some of those things. Uh, more recently, within the last two years, is probably one of the, that's the one I want to focus on, is the, the disaster at Rana Plaza, which we were going to, we're going to be, we've got someone from Bangladesh that's going to be at our conference. I witnessed uh, the one-year anniversary of where 1,100 people got killed. A majority of them were just young women, uh, you know, working conditions. And, and to, to travel to a country such as that where people know different than any of us, that uh, what they really want to do is to earn a living to, make, uh, to, to look after the families and their well-being, and then basically to go to work. And there was a whole bunch of, there was a whole bunch of s signs that and there's an accident waiting to happen and basically said look if you either go back to work or you're going to lose your job and they chose to go back to work uh, for that sake and to see the conditions they worked at and see the salaries that they made and when you witness some of these people and what that leaves you with it leaves you with a, a sorrow in your heart to see that society treats people that way and what I tell people because some of those brands like the Gap, uh, Joe Fresh, uh, were basically, you know, that's where they get their garments sewn. And I tell people when I come back is that if you've got the president or the CEO that's actually witnessed what I've witnessed, uh, I go to bed with a clear conscience every night. I says, I, uh, that's one of the things I can't understand, that how people are prepared to just basically uh, treat people the way they've treated and, and to me that's probably one of the most heart-wrenching things when I went to the one-year anniversary you had mothers uh, mainly mothers that were clutching the photo of their loved one because after the accident that within days when they could no longer rescue the thing imploded they basically took all of the things and uh, took it away so they don't even have any DNA to where people could really have their final closing. Now, that is a tough thing to take, I mean, to, to witness those kind of things. So that's more in the global sense. On the home front, I mean, look, at, we've been involved in some fairly significant strikes. Westray, which I'm sure Steve Hunt probably talked about and probably told you that entire history, along with him, who was a wit he was a witness. I mean, uh, those are terrible tragedies. And again, as I said, there's no need for that to have taken place. I mean, we're working hard to to correct those uh, circumstances and, and like I say is that you can have the best collective agreement but it's worthless if you don't have the ability. Uh, so those are, I mean, it's, it's, it's the, uh, it's the uh, you know, the health and safety stuff, some of the stuff that we're involved in globally, it's, uh, those are tough things to, to swallow. Mm -hmm. And uh, but like I say is that uh, the work that I do every day on behalf of the membership uh, uh, that's very rewarding and uh, that's why I enjoy it and uh, you just feel like you're making a contribution to society. Mm -hmm.